Tony, run! Hello everyone, Tony, I see that you decided to join the trend and make a Coca-Cola fountain. Yeah, only people who don't have internet haven't tried to put Mentos in a bottle of Coke. Wow, awesome. So friends, do you know what kind of reaction this is? No? Then let's find out. Let's start with some history. The first experiment of this kind was performed back in 1980. Back then, the ingredients used were a candy known as Lifesavers and any soda. But sometime later, the manufacturers of this candy made them bigger, and it became impossible to stick them through the neck of the bottle. So, if it weren't for this unfortunate decision, everyone would be using Lifesavers instead of Mentos. Then, in 1999, the experiment with Coke and Mentos was shown for the first time on The Late Show with David Letterman, and it started a worldwide trend that keeps going to this day. But let's get back to the experiment. So, when you put a Mentos inside a bottle of Coke, you get an explosive chemical reaction. The sodium benzoate in the Coke reacts with the acacia gum and the gelatin in the Mentos. This produces a great amount of carbon dioxide, which tries to get to the surface, pushing the liquid and creating a fountain. Pretty simple, right? So, I have a couple of life hacks to make your experiment even better. First of all, you can buy uncolored and unglazed Mentos. This kind of Mentos has more elements involved in the chemical reaction, therefore creating more gas bubbles. And you should also use Diet Coke, not only because it's easier to clean, but also because it contains aspartame, which reduces surface tension and makes the reaction even stronger. By the way, baking soda reacts pretty well with Coke, and given that soda is a powder, that's even more surface for an eruption. And what if we use both Mentos and soda? Run, Tony, run! Haha, <laughs> we're just kidding, friends. You won't get such a reaction just from using Coke and soda. I put something else in there. Try to guess what is the secret ingredient. And while Tony is running away from his own monster, Tell us in the comments if you have tried this experiment before and how it went. The best story will be featured in the next episode. Give us a like, subscribe, and click on the bell so you won't miss new episodes of Super Tony's Experiments.